In this video, we will see how to do 8051 microcontroller programs online. For that, we can use virtual labs developed by IIT Bombay. So, open the URL. You can see the URL here vlabs.iitb.ac.in. So this is the VLAB developer by IIT Bombay. In this, click on VLAB's developer. And then here, click on Explore Labs. Then Approved Labs. So these are the different labs which are developed. Then here you can see the Electronics and Communications branch. Under that, you have 8051 microcontroller. Click on this. Then click on explore. So here they have given different three programs. One is microcontroller interface with display devices, ADC and DAC and then DC motor. But even these uh, programs or the links can be used to do other programs, smaller programs like finding the smallest number, largest number, arranging the numbers in ascending or descending order and all other such things. So you can see here, here they have different things given for this particular uh, application that is interfacing 8051 with display devices. So you can also see the procedure. So there are the different steps which are shown here like how to do the programming in this VLAB. Now you can also go through this and I am showing you directly. So click on simulation. So you can see here, so this is the editor where you can type your program and this is where you can see the output on a 7 segment display because this application is or this is the program for interfacing microcontroller with display devices. Otherwise simple programs like finding the largest and smallest number and other things also can for such things also this can be used. So when, when you write the program and execute it, you can see the corresponding changes in the values of registers and the memory locations which are shown here. And it will also give you the errors if any errors are there in your program. So here and this is the program for finding out the largest number. So we are taking six numbers here which we are storing in memory locations 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25. So R1 keeps a track of number of numbers which we are giving. Then R0 we are using as a pointer for the starting memory location. Then we take two values in A and B registers and then compare. So depending upon whichever is the largest that will be stored in the accumulator and each time the numbers will be compared every number will be compared with each of the other numbers one after the other so once you write the program you have click on debug and you can also ch see the corresponding changes here and it will show even the line by line execution so let us start executing the program click on debug so you can see here the value in r1 is changed to 6 then next R0 is 20H. So here the R0 memory location is 00. So in that 20H is saved. And we will go to memory location 20. You can see here that 20, 21, all these memory locations have values 0. And here when you click debug, you can also see the corresponding line which is being executed. And it is highlighted in a different color. So let us start again executing, see 20H, see now the value in memory location 20H is 4. So you can observe the corresponding changes here along with the execution here. So line by line you can see the execution as well as the values getting changed. So here right now 7 and 5 are there in A and B. 
So it will compare and it will go to this up label where it is written if there is a carry jump down because there will be no carry because the value in A is greater than B. It will simply go to increment. So in this way it will compare all the values and you can see that the largest number among the given numbers is 8 here so that 8 is more to accumulator now. And this is the end of the program execution. So the largest number is now in accumulator A. The same program we can modify to find the smallest number by changing the value in A. And also changing this condition that is if A value is greater than b value so we will check this program also so by the end of the execution the smallest number that is 1 is now stored in accumulator. So in this way you can do the simple programs of microcontroller online using this VLAPS.